Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK. Welcome to some Euro Truck Simulator. Um, using my Mosa equipment, so I've got the Mosa TSW trucking rim, I've got the Mosa shifter, um, the R16 Mosa base, and the Mosa sim racing pedals as well. I've um, already done the stream using the um, desk bracket where we can get that angle right up. This is the best angle that I can get with regards to getting it in a sort of uh, trucking sort of angle. Um, um, there's not much movement in the rig to be able to move it forward as such because obviously it's going to start hitting your knees. But it isn't a trucking sort of position. I wouldn't be able to sim race in this in this position um, because obviously this this rim is quite big. If I was to put the sim racing rim, rim on there, it just wouldn't feel right. So this is the position. I'm going to make a mark on my rig because the bar's all the way down there. When I sim race, the bar's up there, so I can obviously um, steer like that. So it is quite the change. Also, I've got another camera angle for you. Um, I'm just experimenting with camera angles. So we've got this one, which shows the gear um, shifter, and that will flick um, and change in between this one. So a little bit more, um, a little bit more friendly than the other one, I hope. How are you all? Let me say some lovely hellos. I've made that other stream unlisted, so let's pretend that never happened. Um, I did another stream where I had a cap and I attached the webcam to the top of the cap. It just didn't work. I haven't got a triple screen set up, so it didn't work. But I think this will work a little bit better. And that second screen, um, I can um, I can move that around. Like I can have it down here. Uh, well, you can't really see, but I can have it sort of uh, like down here more but for now we'll leave it up there and it's um and it's all good right so i've already set up a um uh, a journey going all the way down to north macedonia so it's a long journey we're going to get crack straight on with that let me say some hellos and then we get straight on with it hello lawler we've got joseph matt fox hello tace uh patrick d how are you pugwash is going to need multi-angle support yeah <laughs> hello um ghost how are you Crotch cam? No, there's no crotch cam here. No, come on. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So let me know if the uh, little screens are swapping over. That would be awesome. <laughs> Is it Tuesday? No, no, not yet. Not yet. There we go. So I'm using the... Um... <laughs> look, everyone's been waiting for me, look. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Let's do it. Hello, Davidoff. How are you? So I'd love it if you left me a little cheeky like. You'll see now the algorithm because I've just did one screen. Uh, screen, sorry. We had what 120 people in maximum, um, a, a peak, and then you come straight back on with another. And I've made the other one unlisted. It won't recommend this one out. It just won't. So um, yeah, if you, I'd love it if you did that for me. Maybe a little cheeky share. Um, or anything like that. That would be cool. But other than that, yeah, just uh, relax. Let me know if the screens are swapping over. And if they are, we can relax. Let me know the volume's all right. And let's just drive. It's eight, oh, it's eight o'clock in the evening, so we are gonna be driving through the night. Hello, Clark, how are you? Yeah, long one, Ghost. Yeah, this is gonna be a long journey. Yeah, this is lovely, though. So, how are you all? <laughs> oh, 69 watchers. <clears throat> My favourite. Oh, you've been playing it on the Quest 3? Nice, Steve. Nice. <laughs> Do you like turtles as well, Colonel? Got a cheeky cup of tea, yeah? Yeah, with that second cam, there's lots of um, different positions I can put that, as it were. But yeah, this is, this is lovely. A proper trucking rim. It's uh, it's very immersive and very lovely. Feel free if you are interested in any of this equipment. They are affiliate links, but if you um, if you want to check them out, the link to the website is in the description. If you were to go ahead and uh, purchase, they would send the commission, uh, a small commission to the channel. I like to make that clear whenever I say it. You shouldn't need a different list of mods. It's only um, uh, pro mods, yeah. No, you didn't miss a balls up. No, 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 no. You didn't miss it. Oh, you didn't miss a balls up. I just um, well, you'll be able to see it if you click on the link in in uh, in Discord. You'll be able to actually see it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I couldn't fit the desk clamp on my rig and the base unit. There was just no room. Yeah, no room at all. Yeah, my missus watches uh, Road Rage and um, dash cam videos. I don't know why. I was Colonel, yeah. No, no, it's plenty of people do it on YouTube, the, the, the uh, POV thing. Um, I was just trying my hand at it, but yeah, it did work, it did work. It's not going to work on a single camp, you know, single uh, screen setup, is it? Oh, I do love a bit of trucking, though. I did enjoy Friday afternoon stream. That was absolutely lovely. All right, let's get some, uh, let's get some of that on. That's it. On the old cruise control. <laughs> no, it's not ghost, no. <laughs> Alright, let's sit at a steady 55. Uh, I do need some fuel soon, so we will stop off for that. But yeah, other than that, you just relax with me. I'll take you through some of your Monday afternoon. What have you all been playing over the weekend? What have you all been doing? I didn't need to do the member stream as well. The February the member stream. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's a February member stream. Yeah, I'll be doing that. Uh, probably, probably some more horror. Uh, probably some more Outlast Trials. See if you want to join in. If anyone's got it, we can do it together. But I'll probably be doing that for the member stream. Maybe this Wednesday? We'll see. Train Sim World 4, yeah, I've got quite a few DLCs to show on there actually. Cyberpunk, I really want to start Cyberpunk, but I'm just, uh, I just haven't got the time, channel time, to actually start it at the moment and know that I'm going to continue. I do love a high beam, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> the Goblin DLC. Uh, what game is that? <laughs> oh, it's not raining under these bridges, Joseph. That's cool. You always hurt the ones you love. Yes. Oh, the detail on this game is just immense, isn't it? Absolutely immense. Train Sim World Out Mortal. What? Taste, is there someone else there we can talk to? <laughs> oh, tomorrow, yeah, I have got the key. Yeah, I have got the key for that one. Yeah, this is better, isn't it? Yeah. Skull and Bones in it, nice. The only gaming I did over the weekend, I did some um, taxi on the old PlayStation Portal. I think I'm going to try and get the Platinum on that, you know. It doesn't look too hard. It's one of them Platinums. Um, <laughs> take the boxing gloves off before typing. It's one of them Platinums that I think you're just going to get for playing it. Yeah. Pick a start and stick to it. Yeah, yeah. But you know me, don't you? If you've been around a while, you know. Um, I'm a bloody nightmare. Hello Dangerous Dave, hello Worldwide Spotter. Yeah, I'd love it if you left me a little cheeky like. It, are, the, um, are they swapping over, um, by the way? Yeah, I should get F1 soon, actually. Um, so a little birdie tells me. They are, oh lovely. <laughs> Just so you can unbox them. Oi, I fucking do the unboxings around here. Don't worry about that. You start stepping on my toes, Colonel. 
Oh god, I took the wrong bloody turn off. I was meant to take the next one. Oh, for f I do that in real life a lot as well. Oh my god, and I've still got the Christmas decorations up. I took them off in the last stream. Yeah, so the screen is um, swapping over and it looks better than the last one. It's an unbagging, isn't it, Pug? Ten minute abs, isn't it? It's never too early for Christmas, yeah. Tell Codas that. Yeah, so, uh, all good. I'm happy if you are. Can't wait for the indicator stalks, though. That'll be cool. Yeah, this is better. Well, you know, you can't blame me for trying things. You know, seven years on, I'm still trying things. That's all I want to do. I may have hit upon something. It may have been cool. It wasn't. It was shit. <laughs> do I get a pay rise after all these months? <laughs> The will is uh, very good. Yeah, yeah, I love the will. Absolutely love it. I've been to New York a few times. Yeah, other than that, no. I'm going next year. I'm going to do Florida next year. You know, the old theme parks. But other than that, no. shifter. That is so cool. Just takes a little bit of getting used to. Because once I get to sixth gear, I, have, I press a button and then first becomes um, eighth gear. Would you ever feel to uh, build a full dashboard? I would. I would do all that sort of shit. But I just haven't got the space. I've got the creativity to do it, and I know people that would help me. Uh, I would, I would absolutely piss it. I'd do a, um, I'd do a flight rig. I'd do a, um, a trucking rig. I just haven't got the room. You know, I just literally haven't got the room. I'd love all that. You know, make a dashboard, cover it in leather, put the old dials in, get some trucking seats. 100%. I'd do that. If only I had more room. I haven't. Yeah. I still think this is the detour from when uh, I took the wrong turn in. Oh, is he letting, letting me go? Let's give him a little cheeky flash. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bruv. <coughs> That's very niche, though, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, very niche. It wouldn't be that hard to do. All you need is a, um, a dashboard out of a truck. I do two-seaters as well. So, um, like, Matt's could come along and, and sit in the passenger seat. Or one of you lovely people can come along. I build like a roof, um, the windscreen. Yeah, I'd, I'd do all of that. I'd love, I'd love the challenge of doing that, and I think I'd do a good job. But yeah, I've got the room. This room is very, uh, very much multitasked. You know, I've got my modelling area. I've got my sort of PC gaming area. I've got my trucking area, sim race area. I've got my arcade machines. I like the fact that I can do lots of different things in here. If I started to do that, it would be just just that. Well, you've changed rooms, have you, uh, Joseph? Has it stopped raining or are we just under tunnels a lot? Hey, it stopped raining, good. Good, good, good. Gotta get used to these gears, bloody hell. 
<laughs> well, you moved house, have you, Joseph, or just moved uh, rooms? Uh, what do you mean by others, Steve? I mean, there's lots of streams on the channel where I'll sit down with people and just have a chat whilst we play. Do you mean subscribers or other YouTubers? I'm not interested in other YouTubers. I don't care about those. <laughs> I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> I'm really unsociable. I don't care at all for uh, other YouTube channels. All that sort of networking and trying to nick a community to move up, it's just not my style. Yeah. Oh, this is just awesome. Are you happier with this stream? Is this alright? Are you really master? Nice. What have you got? Oh, fair play to him, nice man. Cool, right, let's do some trucking. Come on, we've got 1,200 miles. We're going to North, North Macedonia. And we've got a long, bloody drive. Most of it's going to be through tonight, but it don't matter, does it? I've got you all in the back. I've brought plenty of pillows, plenty of blankets. No, put your bottoms back on, Colonel. And you, Matt. <laughs> He's got them on his head. It doesn't count. Just because you've got them on your head, you still haven't got them on your bottoms. So, stop doing that. The R5, nice. Enjoy it, mate. I don't think I've ever enjoyed trucking as much as when I've been playing with this wheel, though. And now I've got the dashboard. Um, I haven't got a wheel on the dashboard. This is just awesome. Well, have you kicked your mum and dad out of, a, out of their room or something, Joseph? Yeah, I started building my McLaren uh, F1 racing car last night. I've got my sign for my Millennium Falcon coming today, I think, actually. You know, the, the sign I've designed to sit at the back, get some LED lights on there. Oh, start of April, okay. Slip over on the right hand side. No, he doesn't want to let me in. What's he fucking about with? Oh, I've got you, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got a much better gaming setup now, eh? Yeah, I think to build a, a certainly a convincing uh, cab, sort of. Uh, oh, you're running out of fuel. Oh shit! To build something convincing, I think all you would need is the dashboard and the seats. The rest you could sort of uh, you could sort of make. At least make look good on the uh, on the camera. You have a dashboard? No, 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 no. We were just talking, st uh, Steve. Yeah. Well, the the Moser is called the Moser Shifter. Yeah, it's called the Moser Shifter. There's a link in the description. Um, there is a video on my channel of unboxing it. If you want to check that out, I tell you what. Oh, is that? No, that's not services. Has he put that in the pile with getting you your PlayStation 5 as well, Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, there's the video there, unboxing it, and I'm using it right now. It's very good. Yeah, very good. All metal construction, just literally uh, strong. Super strong, as they say, I think. Right, we are running out of fuel. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to escape. Oh, no, yeah, okay. Uh, let's press that one. Can we press it? Oh, for f <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, uh, yeah, I need to stop, I need to stop. Because we need some fuel. So let me, uh, let me go to the map, otherwise we're only going to run out. Where have we got it? That's not fuel, is it? That's not fuel. Bloody hell, where's the fuel? Here's the fuel. Oh, we're actually going past it. Yeah, yeah, we're already going past it. Don't worry. Shouldn't have worried. Oh, lovely master, enjoy. Did you um did you click my link and buy it by any chance? Only only ask him because they do send the uh the channel a little commission if you do. But if you didn't, that's no problem either. Lovely click to it as well. Yeah, it's not a console shifter. Hold the light in on this, just it's just crazy, isn't it? So theoretically, we're going past some. Uh... Cheers, Chase. Make eight cheers, mate. That's all right, Master. Yeah, don't you worry. Well, at least you got a good shifter, anyway. Yeah, it would absolutely work on PC. Am I? No, we're going straight on there. Oh, God. I'm panicking now. Yeah, there's two connections on the back, so you can plug it directly into your wheelbase, freeing up a USB port, or you can just plug it directly into your USB port, and it, everything works absolutely independently. On, steer on PC, for example, you could have one steering wheel from one manufacturer, pedals from another manufacturer, as long as they're USB, and a shifter from another manufacturer. will see us through. It's now one in the morning as well, so soon it will get brighter. I bet you do, Lakers. I bet you bloody do. Beautiful. This is very, very immersive, by the way. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Hopefully you can see, um, I've put the second camera up there, just to give you an idea of the equipment that I'm using, and obviously now I'm using a gear shifter. And it should be swapping over between my mush and the, uh, the camera above. That camera above, I'm gonna experiment with different positions. Uh, which is always good, isn't it? But yeah, for now, that's where we're having it. So 
So we've still got 1,100 miles to go. This, deli this stream will be this delivery. So once we do the delivery, then I will um, I'll sod off and uh, go and make a video. Are you playing player, Jason? What does that even mean? What does it mean? I've got no idea, Kyle, but yes. <laughs> Really should have turned those Christmas lights off, although in a funny kind of way, I quite like them. Are you playing single player? No, the convoy is set up, but people can't seem to get in. I have got um, pro mods, so you will need pro mods, but other than that, yeah, come on in. <laughs> Crazy snow run around, yeah. <laughs> it's probably not even on the right camera, is it? <laughs> Can you turn the hands off? <laughs> oh, I love the way when you've got a load on it gets sluggish up the hill. Really appreciate that. So how do you feel about quite a bit of trucking coming to the channel for a while? We'll be doing um, some bus sim as well. Now I've got this. Um, messing about with that. No, Laurie, uh, at the moment the indicators are on the top of the rim, as you can see there, but they are bringing out um, a stalk that fits to Moser bases that's got uh, cruise control indicators, lights, um, so that is coming very soon, yeah. Yeah, trucking's always good, I, I like trucking on the channel. It's definitely worth installing Pro Mods, it gives you... Um, it gives you new areas, graphical improvements, uh, refinements, and it only costs like a pound or two pound. You can get it for free as well, but if you want to download it quickly and support them, I think it's like a pound, but it's definitely worth looking into it. But there's plenty of YouTube tutorials. If you're used to going into your folders, it's very, very easy. Yeah. Thank you for coming in, though. Would you use for Thrustmaster? Well, there isn't anything for Thrustmaster, so you'd use a button. Oh, lovely, Gazza. Yeah, I'll be getting back on the VTC if we're going to do uh, quite a bit of trucking. Oh. Good job I did... Uh, no, come on, mate. Move over. Come on, yeah. Drivers, eh? Two o'clock in the morning and he's driving like that. <laughs> Why are you shouting at me, bird? <laughs> Have you ever had the chance to get behind the wheel of a truck? Be no, uh, I have had the chance to get behind um, JCB's, which is on the channel. JCB diggers and um, all sorts of stuff. Do you prefer the wheel in your rig or your desk? I prefer the angle at the desk for everything else at the rig. Yeah, the angle using the desk mount, I was to get, I was able to get a much better angle than I, I'm able to here. This is still a good angle and way more than I'm used to and way more than I can wish for, but it's not as sort of flat, if you like. Uh, no, it's not Diggerland, no, no, it's JCB headquarters. I would like it a little bit flatter, but I just can't arrange it in my rig. And I really wanted to set it up on my rig using all of this metal brackets um, without the desk clamp to show that you don't necessarily need it in a rig. I didn't use it because there was no leg room for me. Once the once the desk clamp was here and the, um, the actual unit was like, there was just no room. So I set it up like this. I couldn't sim race like this because it's at completely the wrong angle. So there will be a little a bit of adjustment between the two. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah because I think in modern trucks they're not as flat as maybe they used to. It just makes you feel like you're in a truck. I think this is actually probably really realistic in terms of the angle. You know, it's not it's not as sharp angle as a car, 
or certainly sim racing but yeah it's a lot flatter i think this is probably quite realistic in today's trucks <laughs> heads over to aliexpress well they have got um, a unit coming kaya that fits behind this um as uh yeah they have got a unit coming for indicators etc So it's not the perfect angle on the rig, but it's a lot more stable and I haven't got to use my desk. So yeah, the angle wise at the desk using the desk clamp is better than this, but this is absolutely lovely. I have got Pro Mods installed, Jeff, yeah. It looked really mucky, Puck. I needed a tetanus after just looking at it. Yeah, I thought it looked a bit flat. Yeah, but that was sort of the attract. Oh, look at this. Look, that looks good going through there. That was the sort of attraction, really, you know, to do, like, the trucking. But like I say, this is probably more realistic. And I'm still yet to change the colours of my buttons. These buttons are backlit. I'm not sure if it's on the back camera, but these buttons here are all backlit, like a real truck or car. And you can change the colour and the light intensity. So what probably what I'll do... Um, <laughs> great for resting your head on while you're having a sleep. Yeah, exactly, Kale. Yeah, it's a beautiful rim. And even though it's like perforated, like, uh, you know, PU leather, if they told me it was leather, I would actually believe them. It's got a nice sponge to it. Yeah, it's cool. Modern trucks wouldn't be that flat. That's what I've just said, Mickey. Absolutely just said that. But what I'll do is I'll turn the intensity of all these lights down, maybe apart from the indicators, and I'll turn the indicators yellow. I'll turn the lights, um, the light button uh, green. I'll do the... Um, high beam blue yeah it's cool i've got a 4070 even though i miss said it the other night and the 4090 i felt bad about that because i'm no bullshitter and probably you thought oh i'll get him saying he's got a 4090 no it's a slip of the tongue absolutely <laughs> yes yeah, so i've got 4070 but in terms of um just immersion it is a game changer it really is yeah it would, KO, yeah. You've got to go up in the range before you get that, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, no, we don't want to go over, do we? No, no, no. Looks like how you have it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark on my rig um, where this plate is for trucking and then make another mark on the rig where it is for sim racing. And, uh, yeah, because I'm absolutely gagging to get proper sim racing now. Yeah, I want to get deep, deep, deep sim racing. Um, I race in the rain. I need to try that. Um, and, uh, obviously, you know I love Le Mans Ultimate. So, yeah, trucking and racing over here. All the other indie stuff that I'll do over there. Can you change the angle of the desk, though, instead of having it too flat? Uh, put me off. Can you... Can you change the angle on the desk? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, that was absolute choice. Yeah, that was my choice. Yeah, if you watch the video, you'll see uh, you could literally get it. And like a real, you can move it up and down like that. Yeah. 30 days off. Not committing to 30 days off, but yeah, lots of sim racing. But this is beautiful. I love these streams. I absolutely love it. Oh, that's good, Dreamer. Yeah, I, th I, I, yeah, I think it's um, pretty sweet. <laughs> chief all right chief and also it's nice to have my pedals fixed down on the floor you're always conscious of them moving around yeah i've got some lovely rims of my fanatec um, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the fanatec up to the desk mount now and get this moser racing rim working with the fanatec and have that on the desk so watch out for that video if you have got a fanatec and you're thinking you like the look of this Moser Racing uh, um, trucking wheel, the TSW, I should be able to get it working on a Fanatec base, so, you know, just stay tuned for that. Did you see that um, Automobilista 2 has got an um, IMSA partnership now? Does that mean they're going to be bringing similar stuff like that? It's 
It's four o'clock in the morning in game time, so we should be getting the uh, uh, daybreak now. Yeah, but if you, are you in a rig though, Max? I don't think you're going to be able to fit the desk mount and the the um, in the rig personally. Up at a desk, of course, it's perfect. And it was a last minute decision because I was going to leave it um, up on the desk for a while and just keep doing streams up there. But Saturday night I was a bit of a loose end, and I was like, oh. and once I start, that's it. It's like to rip all the rig out, and it's a proper pardon the pun um, rigmarole <laughs> it really is I, I cleaned all round here because I knew I was going to do the POV video so I wanted it perfect not that it's dirty anyway Matt will tell you that but um, I wanted it all beautifully clean so I spent about four hours in here swapping all this over about an hour and a half of that was just trying my damnedest to get the best angle for the steering wheel and then I ended up spring cleaning everything else in here the room is absolute perfection at the moment. Probably love it more than I ever have done. The floor's a bit sticky. Yeah, it is when you're here. Yeah, I do like AMS2. I can never find my pace in AMS2, though. It's weird. Yeah, and I, I know that that's a bit of a broad sort of stroke comment, but I can just never be competitive in Ultima Ballista. I don't know what it is can't find the it does it it's not grippy enough a bit like Forza but the Forza is the extreme Forza Motorsport is just like driving on it's like driving in the wet even when it's blistering sunny and you're at a racetrack in a GT3 car crazy the ones I love are Le Mans Ultimate and iRacing that really is the sweet spot for how a sim racing in my opinion should feel in my brain it, it, it transfers that simulation perfectly. If GT3 cars really drove how they do in Forza Motorsport, well, I think my bloody Peugeot handles better than that. Out of my, out of my, with a birdcage. Oh right. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just something I tried. I, I, static cameras are obviously better. Yeah, James, loving my day so far. Thank you very much. Still got a thousand miles to drive together, so you just relax. I'm not going until we've done the delivery. Got a lovely little drive together. Yeah, um, don't worry, that uh, Lawler, that Fanatec video is coming soon. Oh, Falls is just a mess, yeah, we wouldn't attempt that anymore. I tried it, I had big, big hopes for it, because uh, I could do it on PC, which means that I could have my motion platform working, that was great. Cross-platform with Xbox, brilliant. Looks great, although it was stuttering to fuck to start with. Uh, they sorted some of that out, which was fine. I didn't care, care about the grinding. You know, I didn't care about that. I just wanted to race with people. But the handling model is just so childish. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Everything is like you're driving on ice. There's no, there's no grip to the bloody cars, even in the GT3. And people come in saying to the stream, oh, you need to change the settings of the car to get it. No, it's already a GT3. It should handle properly, like in other racing games. And unfortunately, I uninstalled it, and I can't see me going back to it, because I don't think they're, they're going to revert back on their handling model. That's what they want. We could not physically clean race together. We got a few lobbies full up, but, you know, I, we couldn't get a clean race because we're all sliding off. So every corner, everyone was sliding off. And yet you go into another game, absolutely fine. See you later, Tace. Drive careful, mate. Like me. Yeah, Ultima Ballista is great for the older F1s, isn't it? Oh, this is lovely. I'm nice and nice and relaxed now. This is good. Pissed me off this morning, actually, doing that uh, POV. Because it took me uh, a while to set up and test. And then all of a sudden it's useless and I'm ending the stream. I was like, bloody hell, I wasted a morning on that. 
<laughs> is this game on the road? Well, you have a look at it and make up your mind. On the road. When did on the road ever look like this? On the road would look like this in its dreams. Such a beautiful experience playing this game. Proper zen out, doesn't it? But if you could put it into a camera cycle, it might work. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I'm not going to do it now anyway. This is this is all good. I sort of knew in my heart of hearts that it wasn't going to work purely because I haven't got triple mono. So when I look over there, you're missing the screen. When I look over there, you're seeing the wall. It was a silly idea, really, but it's all good. I'm always trying stuff, you know? Always trying to improve and give you something different, but if it don't work, it don't work. Hello Robert, how are you? Hello Poise, or Poz. I think we're actually turning these roads yellow. Yeah, I don't think we've been here before. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, you never know until you try. Yeah, of course, yeah. Might have good news. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what is it, Joseph? <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> What's your name? What does your daddy do? <laughs> what that means, it means that um, I haven't driven these roads before, so as you, any road that you've already driven, um, becomes like a yellow on the sat nav. Hello Codus, how are you? Like you can see on the sat nav they're all grey, that means I haven't been there before. So, yeah. You missed the POV. Do you think this rim, this will will, will work with, uh, yeah of course it will pass, yeah absolutely, yeah, it's all fully compatible, yeah. Oh, lovely smoking. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's a rude word. Apparently. Yeah, the link's in the description if you do want to check out the products. They are affiliate links, though. I always say that every time I say it, because otherwise it's... Uh, you know, you can't be misleading. So if you ever clicked on a link and purchased anything, they would send the channel a small commission. But the link to these products that I'm using are in the description. Joseph, you said that ages ago and you didn't have your CV then. What are you talking about, Joseph? Bloody hell. I tell you what, if I was your dad, I'd knock you into next week. You told me about a month ago that you might have a job in a go-karting place that isn't built yet, fair enough. And you said all I've got to do is get my CV ready. And you still haven't got your CV. I'd give you a proper slap, um, Codus? I'd give him a slap as well. <laughs> A, a hard one as well. A proper, a proper dad slap. Knock you across the fucking side of the room. <laughs> what on earth have you been doing that you still haven't got your CV? Honestly. <sighs> oh, they've robbed me up, Codus. Oh, I want a job, but I'm going to spend months bloody waiting for my CV. Seriously. Oh, what's happened over there? Oh, what do you mean, spill? I thought, well, they just got me as I went past. Oh dear. We're in a 50. Of course you do, sweetheart. You could get that done now. Switch your stream off, Joseph. <laughs> Seriously, switch it off. Go and do it now. Get it done. Go, 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 go. Get, turn it off. Turn the bloody stream off. 
go and sort it out now. All the shops are open that you could ever need for printing, for getting paper, for envelopes, for stamps. All the shops are open. They're open right now. Turn the stream off. Go and fucking sort it out. Oh. <laughs> Love you, Joseph. <laughs> Turn it off now. Yeah, you'd email your CV anyway to everyone. You don't need paper. Exactly. Kim will tell you as well. Gonna do this, gonna do that. You know, we're, we're, we're working adults here, Joseph. You can't trick us, mate. Anyway, that's none of my business. Sorry, Joseph. Y you know, I can only be honest. You can't tell me something like that and then not expect a reaction. You told me about a month ago that um, you're sorting your CV out. Seven o'clock in the morning, in-game time. Looking beautiful, I might add. Look at that. This game is just crazy. <laughs> we're working adult. Yeah, we're lucky working adults, right? We still got jobs. I know you're working, pub. I know that. I know Kim's working. Codus is working. I'm working. You know. I haven't had a CV. Uh, I've worked for myself for the last twenty odd years, so yeah. Mine needs updating. <laughs> Oh, I've got a, um, I'm waiting for a parcel actually. Two seconds, I'm just gonna go and get that. Back in a minute. What game is that, Encoders? <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, that was my sign um, delivered that I had made to put behind my uh, Millennium Falcon. The game of life. Have you got your NDA, that sort of stuff, Codus? I'm not talking about what you said here, but um, have you got a in, you know, do you have to sign an NDA for stuff like that? On TVs, what do you need to know? Oh, I think it's on 900 uh, post. Haven't changed any settings in the Moser stuff. Then I'll say anyone. Yeah, I'm an expert in um, <laughs> embargoes and NDAs. Don't worry about that. Oh, I love this shifter, it's awesome. It's better than just going up and down with the sequ sequential. You know, actually um, finding the gear and getting in there. It's cool. A major one. Yeah, I wouldn't say anything else. You know, the you know, walls have ears, don't they? Oh, I was speaking to a, um, a Crayon bloke that said he's drawing up a, a new area for you. Is this true? I mm, don't know about them brands. Still 840 miles to go together. 
Wolves don't have mouths. Uh, well, some of them do. <laughs> oh, that's the Robo Tree. Well, out of the more bu budget brands, if you've got a high sense already, I would stick with high sense if you if you like it personally. I mean, unless the reviews for the new product have gone down the swanning, they're only going to improve on on their own products theoretically, aren't they? A crown bloke. You drew the new seating area, nice. What, well, and then with Crayon, he just posted it to him and said, this is how I would do it. Yeah, I see a lot of high sense about. Yeah, absolutely. The TCL, is that, a, is that an Asda brand? This is cosy, isn't it? Exactly, bit. So we're going down to North Macedonia. I don't know where that is on the map, but that's where we're going. Well, maybe that's just where I've seen them pug. I've definitely seen a lot of TCL. But I think High Sense is um, a bit more, shall we, shall we say, reputable, maybe. And you've got one of their previous products. So, like I say, unless they've gone down the Swanee over the last year or so. Um, yeah. And we got to park it yet. I mean, you know what happens there. I love the indicators on here. I love the whole bloody wheel, actually. It's cool. It's better than like doing it in a sim racing position with your your hands and thumbs in the usual sort of three to six. Um, configuration with your arms out, you just rest your hand on it like you're doing a normal uh, a normal van or a truck. Isn't everything Chinese these days, Beard? Wasn't it always? <laughs> well, you got a 75 inch high sensor. Oh, nice. yeah, do you put your gaming up to that? He has gone very quiet. Yeah, he should consider himself fucking told off. Don't come in here with geezers, giving it the oh, 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 when, you know, the answer is staring you in the face. Sorry. And I'm a dad, and I? I can't not say that. I just can't. Sorry. You have your PlayStation 5 on it. Nice. And it looks and runs all right. could get a 75 in here then you wouldn't need triples everywhere I look you'd see the bloody screen I mean truth be told they're all probably using the same panel anyway beard <laughs> they probably share the actual panel and put their own software and um, uh, little bits on it it rains a lot for me doesn't it in game You haven't touched trucking recently, have you, Codus? Maybe he's going to do the CV. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, lovely one. Oh, this is so bloody cosy, isn't it? Love it. Thank you for coming in, by the way. They think he's a war hero. <laughs> I 
Oh, you got that. Yeah, I wondered if you'd get that. Yeah. Cheeky toll without a barrier, that's what I like. Yeah, I've got a Sony with built in Android, but it's very, very old now. 65 inch curved, when curved was all the rage. But it's old now. I only use it for watching EastEnders, and even that I don't watch very often now. I don't watch TV. Yeah, I don't really. I don't even go in my front room a lot. <laughs> Which sounds crazy. I'm mostly about the gaming room. It's actually enhanced this game using the shifter properly as a height shifter. You're actually doing something, you're actually simulating the gears, which is uh, another little bit of cheeky realism. Yeah, absolutely, Gaza. I wonder if that will change when they update the game engine. The uh, game engine? <laughs> engine. Ding dong. Really, Coda? What, you got sleep nappier or something? Everything's upstairs, yeah. Cool. Still got 700 odd miles to go. Everyone all right? You all happy? Oh, it would be good when they improve their game engine. Although, look, look at it. It's not exactly lacking, is it? It really isn't. As I say, though, thanks for coming in. Hopefully you've left me a little like. Other than that, it's all good. I will sod off once I've finished this um, delivery. I've got to start on a couple of videos. Still getting used to the uh, the high and low systems. Obviously, once I press a button, then gear one becomes gear seven. I'm still getting used to changing down the gears. pedals feel nice they don't feel as good as the v3 but then they're not in the same league there is a higher quality pedal set that Moza do which would compete with the v3 um, but yeah the pedal set feels feels very very nice have they um have they let me through i can't get the bloody thing the barrier is still up isn't it not asking me to do anything. What are they doing? What are they doing? What's going on? Oh no, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. No, don't don't do that. That's it. Yeah, don't bib me, I'm bloody why is the... Am I in the wrong lane? I think I'm in the wrong lane, but... Oh, shit. How do I... Yeah, how do I get out of that? How does one even unfuck that fuck? How does... How do... How does that even work? Hmm. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's unfuck what we what we fucked. <laughs> We've unfucked the fuck. Yes. How about that? How do you like those fucking apples, eh? How do you like that? <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> that was worth it just to get the accident. <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> it's the fire one all over again. Oh, God, yeah, you're in the other night ghost. They were solid, though, weren't they? It is unseen, yeah. You wouldn't do it in real life. Well, I wouldn't anyway. I mean, sure, some people would. You all right, Birdie? I think I need to turn my rain option down. It rains a lot. I sort of like it because it's cozy, but it rains a lot. Yeah, everything is to hand though here that I need. Indicators, lights, wipers, looking left and right, different views. Everything is literally here at the press of a button on my fingers. It's cool. Like I say, you're not holding it in that sort of classic sim racing stance. Just like, you know. You got me back for another half hour. Oh, lovely. I might even finish the um, thing in half hour, maybe. It's not retired, I had to move it because as you can see I've got the um, shifter and the shifter, the handbrake and the shifter there and I didn't have any room to put it anywhere, it's just moved over there for now, okay coders, don't worry, don't, don't you even stress, this is an ever evolving room, it is not on eBay if that's what you're asking, <laughs> I need another shelf thing on my, on my rig. Oh, I used it a lot, Coda, so I had to reassign all my buttons. And I love the key. Who doesn't love the key? More importantly, where's yours? <laughs> yeah, I need a cup holder. The key sold it to you. Yeah, it was brilliant. Well, this has been more successful than the POV stream, hasn't it? Obviously, we won't do that again. And this second camera, I will change the angle of that for you to get different views. But it's something different, isn't it? It lets you see what equipment I'm using. to a faulty area, bloody hell. But even as it is at the moment with a really, really old game engine, it still looks lovely. And you can, because it's an old engine, you can run, if you've got a reasonable PC or above, you can run it on pretty much full whack. I think I'm running this on absolutely everything maxed out and the um, the sharpness coming up and it's lovely and smooth looks nice looks real yeah if you scrutinize the trees you can see a little bit of age coming through the trees but trees are old aren't they so that's fine <laughs> I'm a 490 oh shut up <laughs>
going to a bloody 30 now as well. What's going on? No, we're back up in Slovenia now. I know that because I recognise it and also it come up on the screen behind my webcam so you wouldn't have seen that. So I could have got away with that, could, really, couldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, you just want to play the game, don't you, Gazza? And it's fine, isn't it? You got 40, 80, nice. It wasn't cheap, no, no. Graphics cards are silly money at the moment, aren't they? Steam Deck it does the job, yeah. Yeah, you haven't got to worry about that then, have you? Steam Deck actually runs it really nice. When I did my review of the Steam Deck, I tried um, American Truck and all the rest of it, yeah. Oh, the shifter is absolutely adding that element of simulation to this. It's not just up and down on the, the actual handbrake sort of as a sequential. I'm actually looking down. It's got a lovely gated um, gear to it. I thought it'd be really hard to sort of select. It's quite a big gate to put it in, isn't it? But it's really easy, actually. Really easy. Hello Giggles, how are you? <laughs> Could you connect a steering wheel up to Steam Deck? <laughs> Can you imagine it? And then just tape it to your face like a VR. How many of you are in the back just getting very, very sleepy? I've put blankets in the back, you're welcome to have a lay down together. No touching. Yeah, nothing like that. You've got your pillars, your blankets, all in there. Hot water bottles if you're, if you're cold. You get in the back of me. Yeah, if you have it docked, yeah, of course. Should we do another one of these tomorrow as well? Another long delivery? You up for that? Bloody hell, what's that on the road for? Jesus. So I can't do any sim racing at the moment, because obviously I've got this in truck config, and I'm not going to do sim racing on this steering wheel. So sim racing is out for a little bit. <laughs> Could you raise your steering cam up a little bit? Which, what, what, the back camera? Why, what you got planned? The camera behind me or the camera in, that puts me on the camera. Which one are you talking about? There shouldn't be any crutch. There shouldn't be any crutch. There should just be enough to show the bottom of my hand using the shifter and the steering wheel. If you want it up, you can, you're not going to see that, in which case, what's the point of it? Oh, thank you, David. I love making them, mate. Love this channel. Hello, Brian. How are you? Steering wheel cam. Yeah, but, yeah. Why do you want it raised up? I'm just asking. Collating ideas. You want to see less steering wheel is what you want to see, don't you? Bird's lovely, yeah. He'd come out now if I let him. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you can see some fire. <laughs> well, as long as you're not seeing any crutch and you, see, you can see the steering wheel and the shifter, that's what we're all here for, right? <laughs> We've still got just under 600 miles to go, together, chilling out. We're turning roads yellow, which is brilliant. It means we haven't been down this neck of the woods um, yet. Will the bird come out on this, on this stream? Well, I don't know. Do you want the bird to come out? I don't mind. I don't mind. When did you get the height shifter, and is it something new to you? Uh, want to try? Yeah, Ricky, uh, uh, Rickle, I got it. no Ricky. Sorry, I got it uh, uh, about a week ago. I have already done an unboxing on the channel, um, but yeah, it is new and uh, love it. Oh, I see what you're saying. You want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is because otherwise, um, it gets a bit. It, gets a bit fuzzy on full screen because it's only a 1080p uh, setting at the moment. Yeah, I see what you're saying. There is no money shot magnum. There better not be anyway, unless it's fallen down and all we've got is fucking ball cam. Let's let him out. There you go, door's open. Come and see me. <coughs> come on, come and see me, birdie. Come on. <laughs> He'll come over in a minute. Oh, hello. Hello, little birdie. No, go on my arm again. It's better on my arm. No, 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 no. That's it, like that. That's better. You like that arm anyway. <laughs> He's crawling all over me, look. Yeah, we've done the POV cam already. <laughs> Baby boy, you want my little birdie? It is David, yeah. I've made some unboxing videos. Um, they've got a wheel clamp which can clamp it straight to your desk. Um, that's the easiest way to use this setup and the most sort of realistic way. And I did a stream on Friday using it like that as well. If you want to check that one out, hello, British Ace. want to climb all over me today, don't you? It's alright. This is Euro Truck, David. Yeah, thanks, Matt. That's the wheel clamp, so that's um, a little clamp. It's only £39. And theoretically, if you've already got a, another steering wheel that isn't Moser, you could still use that, as long as it's a desk mount, uh, uh, a sort of rig mountable um, steering wheel. You could use that desk clamp. It's not, it's not like exclusive to Moser equipment. And then you could put, oh, I don't know, a T300 on it. Um, and then get the perfect angle on that as well. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Desk clamp and truck wheel in action. He's a brilliant mod, isn't he? Absolutely brilliant. He really, he, he makes an effort. He, you know, if someone mentions something, he puts in the right video or he'll answer it himself. Love it. Don't shit on my white t-shirt, birdie, alright, please? Oh, a bit of leg! <laughs> Hello, King. <laughs> Fucking love it, don't you, King?
You up, buddy? Doing the shorts on, yeah. The old knobbly knees contest. Yeah, you just want to be up on that shoulder today, don't you? Hello, double spider. Hello, birdie. How are you, British Ace? Oh, good boy. Here. Oh, just finished work for the day, nice. What you got planned? We're almost there, yeah, we've got 500 miles to go. Don't you go twill on me, little birdie. If I do get round to doing a video this afternoon I'm and I'm wearing a red t-shirt, you know he's shit all over my right shoulder. <laughs> Can you hear the shifter? It makes a really satisfying clunk. And then play trains, nice. <laughs> being out of his cage, this little boy, didn't you? Who wouldn't, though? I've had him uh, since Christmas. Yeah, I got him for Christmas from my wife. going up the end, aren't we? Are we going up the end? Yeah, we can go to any of them on these ones. I don't, David. No, not yet. Hello, baby boy. Oh, you're making those noises. You good baby boy. Oh, hello. <laughs> can you hear him? He's so cool. Doing little squeaky noises for me. Did I do anything for St. Patrick's? No. I'm not Irish, mate. Doesn't that usually just involve going down the piss? Uh, going down the, the, the pub on the piss? Which is not me anyway, I'm afraid. Oh, God knows, Taste. I mean, they did bring out their sort of like, um, like free version. They did bring that out. But yeah, God knows. I think I started making videos about that literally about five years ago. Oh, it's coming to console, is it? Oh, bloody hell. It's not. Oh, hello, little bird. Oh, I've only got 500, well, I'd say only. That's the, the sort of length of an uh, average 
quickie, isn't it? <laughs> but we've got 500 miles to go. It's half three in the afternoon in game time. So I should imagine we'll get there before it gets dark. I don't suppose you can see him in the, um, the top cam, can you? Going behind my head, what are you doing behind there? Do not shit all down my back, although at least you wouldn't see it on the video, would you? <laughs> I could be absolutely covered, but from the front, business. From the back, scattered up. What are you doing there? <laughs> he is a lovely pet. Yeah, birds are, are lovely. He's very affectionate as well. He wants to come out and have a little play. He's just a good boy. This has been nice this afternoon though, isn't it? You know I always enjoy pressing that stream button. Ooh. Look at baby boy. <laughs> I don't want you on my head. No, stay here. Is he ever noisy? He's very, very quiet, which makes me think he's a girl, not a boy. The boys are quite vocal, the girls are not so much. He's very, very quiet. He shouts and, and he, he, he tweets a lot, just like shh, 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 shh. Usually when I'm doing a video. So if I'm trying to put together a video um, and he's, uh, he, he, he's flock calling, so he wants his, his noise back, sometimes I, put his, I lift his cage up or the top part of his cage, just plonk him um, in the kitchen. He's all right there, he looks out the window, he's quite happy there. And then uh, I won't move him out for live streams. If he makes a noise, he makes a noise. But in a video, there's no excuse. If I've got new people coming to the channel and there's constant bird noises in the background, it's not very professional, is it? So yeah, if I'm putting together a video, I will just move him out for an hour. Other than that, he lives in here. And uh, yeah, he's, he's my little best friend, he is. He spends a lot of time out of his cage. When he's in the mood for it, I can give him such a cuddle, literally put my hand all over him, give his head a little rum, a rub with my thumb. Uh, it's like being under the blankets. You can see in his eyes, he's just like, oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> my lucky cat, I haven't got a lucky cat. Oh, traffic jam. Come on, mate, why are you not going through? Oh, now what happens? This is this will be fun, won't it? I tell you what, if I was a real truck driver, I'd take him with me. Yeah, I would take him with me. You just have to be careful when you open, open the window or the door. But, um, yeah. If you got outside, is he effectively gone for good or is he relatively tame? I have got some recall on him, but if he got outside and disappeared, they'd die because obviously I'll get him food for it. He's not used to finding his own food and he would just get pecked and, and, and killed, basically. This is crazy. What, what goes on here then? Alright, you fucking want some here, do you? Let's have a little look. Um, no, what, what's happening? And you've just shit on me, bird. Oh, God. Uh, let me go and wash my hands and get a tissue.
I think the best thing I can do here, or the only thing I can do, is to um, get towed, isn't it? That's all I can do, really. Which, if I remember rightly, is... Oh, oh what's happened? No, that's, that's not it. Um... Yeah, tow to service. No, that's all right. We can do it like this. You pooed on my hand, didn't you? Naughty bird. He can't help it. They shit on average every 15 minutes. <laughs> Fair play to them. <laughs> Fair play to them, is what I say. Have you not used the truck mount? Yeah, I used it on Friday stream. Now I've moved it over to the um, uh, racing rig. That's it. But yes, Friday stream was with the truck mount. That <laughs> sounds like with now, yeah. Should get some fuel while I'm here, really. Hello, little boy. Makes sense, doesn't it? But yes, now I've moved it over to the racing rig with... Um, and using the shifter. Oh, baby boy. What you doing? Yeah, you are a good boy. He loves his head being done. Don't know which camera you're on, but you can probably see him there. Cut my thumb as well, by the way. <laughs> Can you see him? <laughs> Such a cutie. Such a good boy. Oh, they're such a good pet, though. They really are. What do you think of the truck wealth? What's the truck wealth? What is it? If you tell me what it is, I'll tell you what I think of it. Hello, David Finney. How are you? Oh, what do you think? I, what do I think of the truck wheel? I love the truck wheel. Look at it. I fucking love it. Sorry, I should have worked that one out for myself, shouldn't I? Oh, we've got a lamp post there, or or um street sign truck wheel yes I love it absolutely love it it's definitely turned the immersion up for me it's the best immersion that I've had playing the game so far and uh, and also the shifter is is giving me massive immersion extras as well Because I'm not only... I mean, I do use the handbrake, actually, which is next to it, the Thrustmaster. I do use that as a sequential. But this, you're actually finding the gear in the gate. Um, I've got a little button. So it goes from 1 to 6. Obviously, there's 12 gears in this one. Um, so you press a button, and then gear 1 become gear, becomes gear 8. I do it that way. just jump in from my shoulder, jump into the corner of the seat, stop him for a second, and then doing it again. <laughs> right, this is a stop sign, so you know what happens there. We do have to stop. 
It's the law. Okay, now. I think I nearly killed someone. <laughs> Little bird's part of the family now, so if he's part of the family, he's part of the stream. I think this setup would be quite good for farming as well, so we will test that. I'll do most of the farming with the controller, but I mean to actually steer the um, the vehicles and the combine would be quite cool, I think. Certainly bus sim, we will start a fresh save on bus sim, it's been ages since I played that. So that'll be a, bl a blast from the past. No, I think they've already got a, an electric um, truck in there, I'm sure they have. Not on my head, young man. I don't like that. Yeah, me too, British Ace. They, they said they are, but whether they do, that's another thing. I like the idea of that one. Okay, it's going to be it's going to be plastic in cheap, but I think it is fairly cheap anyway for an in, for an enclosed unit. But I like the fact that it's got the gear stick on now. Um, it's already at that angle for trucking. Yeah, I think it will be a good little um, a good little thing. I do predict that it will be quite plasticky though, of course. I'm not surprised British Ace, no, I mean, I think it's mainly, it seems to be mainly PlayStation, there seems to be some crazy hoops to jump through to get it licensed that a lot of manufacturers just don't bother with, yeah, and they can never be backwards compatible, so, you know, it's no good thinking I'll get it and hopefully in the future it'll be PlayStation because they all have to be certified, so you can't sort of, um, I mean, that is what I love, of, I do genuinely love about the Fanatec stuff. I can play on whatever platform is available. That's pretty big, isn't it? I can play on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation, all on the one rim, or, or one wheelbase, without doing anything. Love that. I'm looking forward to seeing what this R16 is like, put through its paces in sim racing. I am excited about that. But I haven't got a rim. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ray, yeah. <laughs> no, we've still got 400 miles to go and it's half seven, so actually I think we will, it will be dark by the time we get there. Behind me, <laughs> he's literally behind me. It's all paid. The bird paid that. 
Yeah, exactly, Ray. I've had a little play with that. It does seem really simplistic, doesn't it? Yeah. Didn't really go much on the Fanatec um, sort of uh, UI, as it were. Although Fanalab is the one for that, isn't it? But yes, the pit house looks pretty good. Um, pretty well thought out. They've just done an update today as well, by the way. It'll be night and day over your Thrustmaster. Don't forget, you're going direct drive. Um, better quality. Yeah, it'll be night and day. Absolutely night and day. There won't be any difference. You won't. There'll be no comparison between the Thrustmaster and the um, the Mosa. Oh shit! I've only done it again, haven't I? I've only gone and done it again. Fucking hell. I've only gone and done it again. Oh, shit in hell. I'm sure this is illegal. But, you know. What can one do? Yeah, mainly because of the direct drive system, you know. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is frowned upon. Yep, this is frowned upon. Not bad driving though. L plates, I know. And I'm always going in the wrong I'm always going in the wrong entrance. You'd think I'd learn by now, wouldn't you? You alright, birdie? Can you see him from there? I know, I get lost more with the sat-nav on. <laughs> no, always make excuses for me. Right, they're checking our documentation, Birdie. It's been a really nice drive, actually, isn't it? What are you doing in the... Um, while you're watching this, anyway? I'm interested. What are you doing? What have you been doing throughout the duration of this stream? It's not just about me, is it? I want to know what's going on. Oh, you're at work, are you? Okay. So you're getting paid to listen to me, ghost. I like it. You really, you really don't want to know. I do want to know. I do, I do, I do. Shaving. At work. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. PC and PlayStation 5. No, FN. No, no. No. It's, um, it's not a PlayStation 5 compatible. I will be making a video because I've got obviously the Fanatec, which is PlayStation 5, and there is a way to get this rim working on the PlayStation 5, so I will be making a video. Um, <laughs> some fresh fruit. <laughs> Bananas, I hope.
You want baby bird? <laughs> Look at him. Can you see him just jumping about all over me? He's like a little toddler, honestly. He really is. You are. You're like a little toddler. Jumping around, trying to get my attention. I love it. Change of road up here, I like it. Look at this game, look. It's so cool. I think it probably will one day, Oscar. Yeah. I think just to make peace with your life. Let's say it isn't. But if it does, it does. <laughs> that, that's, you know, let's make peace with it. That's the best way. Because it's like some people go around on their lives just waiting for it. Don't don't wait for it. Just if it happens, it happens. Let's say it's probably not, but I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will one day. They're not silly. They know there's plenty of money waiting to be made. Oh, you're from Denmark, and it's four in the evening. Oh, what have you got planned for the rest of your evening? I'm sorry for being so nosy, but I'm interested as well. You know, it's genuine interest. I'm, I'm interested. Like, Ricky's in Denmark, right? It's four o'clock. What does a Denmarkian do in the evening? What do you do on a Monday night? That's the whole reason for the engine update. No, no, the engine update is to improve what they've got already. A byproduct will be that it will be able to come, if, if theoretically, it will be able to come to console. That's not why they're doing it. They're doing it because they love their product and that's their business and you know they want to give the best they can give on the platform that they've been established on for about the last bloody 15 years. Um, <laughs> Danes. <laughs> but uh, that's not why they're doing it. But in doing it, it will mean that they will be able to bring it to con console. <laughs> Denmarkian. What does a Denmarkian do? I don't know. Hello, Unseen. I'll tell you what though, one thing I love about the channel, I do love being gaming radio throughout the day while you're at work and just keeping you busy. I'll, I like it, I really do like it. I think it's a good part of the channel. I know you're not watching intently, I don't expect you to, it's not, you don't have to, it's not a problem. Fucking rain again. You're working from home? I'm going to play kebab chefs or paint in miniatures, it's so pretty similar to what we do here. Tell, paint a picture, uh, rather than painting your miniatures, uh, Ricky, paint a picture, tell us where you live, not where, I don't want any personal details, tell us um, what's in your local area, and just give a, just paint a picture, come on, I'll read it out, give us some info on what it's like to be a Denmarkian, where you live. You can actually play it on Xbox, but it is a PC game. Yeah, remember internet security. Don't give any details away, but just paint a picture of what it's like around your area in Denmark. The Denmark Tourism Board is relying on you. Yeah, we don't want the full address or the IP address. We've got that already. <laughs> like, tell us, for example, what are the last three digits on the back of your card? I mean, I know. It just gives us an idea of who and what you are. I take it you can see uh, Capri now, can't you? Who's getting very agitated that I keep changing gear? This sort of thing's good for him though, because he's realizing that like sudden movement and that clicking 
it was actually not scary and it, it builds their sort of uh, it, it builds their confidence a little bit chief knows where I live I don't Mickey got 346 miles probably the rest of it is going to be done in the dark but that's fine <laughs> look at birdie there oh <laughs> I named him Capri and so I said why because he's got rusty wings <laughs> no it's because I'm not allowed a Capri but I'm allowed a bird and I've called him Capri <laughs> no it's not that I'm not allowed I've got no space or skills for a classic car One day, you never know. Oh, there's a good point. Is <laughs> your next one going to be called Mohawk? Oi, if I wanted a Mohawk, I'll tell you what, I'd go out now and get one, alright, coders? <laughs> Especially if the missus was away for a few weeks, then I'd get it, you know? <laughs> she doesn't put her foot down to much, if anything. But the last time I had a mohawk, she's like, come on. I think at the time I was about 48. Come on. You're on your way to 50. Don't have a 15-year-old's haircut. I think we're a words. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, it's my thing. I love it. I love it. No, I don't. Come on. Oh, she goes, have, have it like this. Have it all. Like, well, I've got it now. Have it like this. It looks so nice. Yeah, and old. <laughs> But I am 52, so I suppose I am old. I'm the same age as old people now. Are you making nice little birdie noises? Are you? Are you making birdie noises? Are you? What a journey this has been. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. So you're a 1973, are you, Matt? No, 1974 you are then, aren't you? Are you? Hmm. No, 73. You could be either. I know, close to my bus pass. Hmm. I can do um, OAP vlogs from the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the price of vegetables. Oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. This cucumber, how much? Oh, my God, it's over a pound. You know, that sort of vlog quality. Here we are at Tesco's. Oh, come and join me on my weekly shop. Did you really, Red Roderick? It's cool, isn't it? I mean, it, you can you can travel for free. I mean, it's not a bad deal, is it? Uh, do you just have to buy the bus pass, though, don't you? Do you have to buy it or pay to register or something? You all right, baby boy? Mwah. Yeah, you are good. Can you hear him squeaking away? It's totally free, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. I take it you just have to apply for it. It's quite a good thing, isn't it? It's a, it's a little perk, isn't it? You can travel anywhere. In the country? I mean, you know, that's gonna, you're going to struggle, but you could get around the country for absolutely free of charge. As long as they're running, as long as they're on time. <laughs> Join me as I try and get out of the bar of unassisted. Oh my god. With Matt giving me a helping hand. Oh, I think it has to be after 9 o'clock. Oh, well, right, okay. So they've got sort of peak and unpeak times. Well, I suppose they think old age pensions, they, st they stand in bed till about 10 o'clock anyway. Like coders, really. 9.30. <laughs> no, I said it wears the soap. 
And you went yes. Fucking love these journeys, they're so cool, aren't they? <laughs> there was no soap. Oh, hello, young man. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good government perk, isn't it? I mean, of course, they could do you know better pension, etc. <laughs> That's a different conversation. But the fact that they decide that as an OAP, you can go on the bus service for free, I think it's pretty sweet. You are right, baby bird. You good boy. He's quite happy just bouncing all over me, isn't he? What bird wouldn't? <laughs> oh dear. No, don't try and bite my ring. I have a vision of a little egg. <laughs> no, that's more of a clearing throat. I just need to book the doctors in. <laughs> it's getting worse, by the way. <laughs> show you next time you're down. <laughs> Maybe Magnum. Let's just hope it's not fucking unity, you know. Oh, I fucking love Sexy Beast. It's one of the best films ever made. There's a TV series set as a prequel. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Sexy Beast is just fantastic. So good. Are the camera swapping all right? Can you see Capri when he's sitting on my hand? Like there. Can you see him there? Oh, lovely bears, yeah. Hello, Di Buckley. He is a co-pilot, yeah, he's a bloody good co-pilot as well. If I was a truck driver, I'd take him with me. I'd have a little cage, just for like when I'm doing drop-offs or whatever. But yeah, I'd have him out in the, um, in the cab. I bet he'd love that as well. Oh, lovely beard. I'm dead. What's it called? What's it called? He's called Capri.
Oh, it's called Sexy Beach. Yeah, of course it is. He's a cockatiel. Part of the parrot family, but he's like one of the... He's almost like a beginner parrot. If he was looking for a, a, a bird to own. He's like a beginner parrot. My favourite classic car. Yeah, I think he's easier to look after than, say, a Macaw. Uh, Pug's got. Is yours a Macaw, Pug? Violent, yeah. I mean, even if he bites you, he's not really going to hurt you. He certainly wouldn't draw blood. So, yeah, they say, you know, if you're looking for an easy. Um, easy to look after but the cockatiel as long as you give them time you have to give them time if you're just going to put them in a cage actually any bird if you're just going to put a bird in the cage in the corner of the room please don't no they need to be interacted with what I'm doing with him now he needs that he needs that if you've got two cockatiels you can interact with them less because they become you know friends and they interact with each other but they're very very social creatures you know, all day he'd be doing out his little uh, flock call, just one little tweet, and he expects an answer, because that's what they do in the wild. And of course, if you want that sort of tameness, where he's quite happy and content on the end of my finger, or the end of my hand, that, that comes with just time uh, and building up confidence. And even when they talk, they don't talk like a macaw, you know, you're going to have to strain very, very hard to hear what he's saying he doesn't talk at the moment maybe never will there's no guarantee but yeah you have to interact with him every day give him his exercise every day and he really demands 12 hours sleep if I'm in here too late he, you've heard him on the stream he shouts at me he wants the light off he wants to go to sleep about, about 10 o'clock is his latest like if you go up to his cage around 10 o'clock and chat to him, he'll spit at you. He's not interested. He wants to be left alone. And you have to, you have to listen to what he's saying, like any animal. He's saying, leave me alone. I'm not interested. Come back tomorrow. I need, I need to sleep. During the day, like he loves this, all the interaction he wants um, during the day. But if an evening, he wants to be left alone and the light turned off. So on a Tuesday or a Friday or Thursday now, he hates it, doesn't like it at all. My missus loves it because like during the week, say tonight for example, I'll have the door, I'll shut the door, it's, it's done, I don't come back in because it will disturb him. So um, she loves it because I'm shutting the gaming room about sort of um, eight, nine o'clock and I just don't come back in here. Ordinarily I'm in and out, in and out. <laughs> Always finding some reason to come in here. Oh, I've just got to test this game. Just going to install this. Just doing a bit of Lego. Just doing a bit of modelling. Whereas during the week, for his benefit, I turn the lights off, shut the door. I don't go back in. And they're destructive now. You can see he's trying to... I've got rubber rings around my Sparco handbrake. He's trying to break them. They're very, very destructive. Not like in a vicious way. That's just what they do. They, they peck stuff. They chew stuff. It's what they do. It's the only thing he's got to do anything is his mouth or a beak. What's the dog like? Yeah, they don't really like each other. The bird spits at the dog. And the dog understands that. That means, okay, I won't go anywhere near you. It does ghost, yes, yeah. Just doing costume change five. I love pets. I've got a dog. I've got a spider. I've got a turtle. And I've got him. 
Destiny is, you know, outside of Eva, she's beautiful. You'll never top Eva. But having a bird that actually wants to interact with you and wants to play a few little games, it's a, it's a really nice, it's a lovely animal, it really is. He's just trying to bite my gold ring at the moment, so I've got to take that off. Because I'm worried that he's going to chip his um, beak on it. But yeah, a little cute animal that bonds with you. I love animals anyway. Oh god, I love animals so much. <laughs> and it's Simon, and it. And when you pay him, no, that's too much, isn't it? No, we didn't mean that, did we? <laughs> well, I had two turtles. One was called Crush. One was called Nemo. One died, and that one out there is about 15 years old. So he's Crush or Nemo, we call him, because I don't know. <laughs> the spider, I haven't really named the spider. He, he's double R'd, he don't want a name. He doesn't want it, he says to me, don't give me a name. But a tarantula, as fascinating as they are, he is a pet rock, they call him. Doesn't do anything, literally does nothing. But they are cool. You live in a small village and a village nutter constantly asking if I'm a farmer. I'm not. He's even asked my wife that questions. <laughs> Is that you setting the scene for where you live? <laughs> He's asking if you're a farmer. I need to remember that. Next time you come in, I need to ask you if you're a farmer. You'll be like, for God's sake. See how he's getting used to the gear changing? When, I, when he first went on my hand, he's like, what's going on? Why are you doing that? But he's actually getting used to it. They're the sort of experiences you've got to give him. Because they're very flight or fight. Fight or flight. And they're u usually flight. I was out there the other day in the kitchen. Uh, I take him out on my shoulder when I get his food. And my wife shut the fridge a little bit hard. And the gush gust of wind must have disturbed him. He's off. He's round the room flying. Rah, rah. Calm down. So the more little experiences you can give him, that sort of get him out of his comfort zone, the better. <laughs> what on earth are you doing there? Now what? Now what? He's on the wall. Now what, little boy? Come on, back over here. Come here, come here. Come here. Good boy. Boy. Good. Oh god, I was meant to stay over in that lane again, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. can I make it? I think I can. Shit. Oh, shit in hell. What did I do that for? Why did I do that? And can I make it through there? I think we all know the answer to that, don't we? The answer is no. But is that going to stop me? No. Oh, shit. I was thinking that was too good to be true. Oh, hang on. No, I think we might be all right. <laughs> ah. It's a, just a little bit of karma, you know? Do you want to go on there? No? This has been fun, I've enjoyed um, this stream and Friday stream trucking as well. It's been nice to get back to trucking. 
We can always have a good chat in a trucking stream, can't we? I can get to all your comments. There's no comments that I miss. And it's nice and relaxed. Got 116 miles to go. So certainly not long left of the journey. Just stay still, for goodness sake. The gear shifter, I'm most impressed with, though. It's got a lovely metallic click to it. Very strong. <laughs> oh, look at him uh, preening. <laughs> He's not even worried about the movement now. Easter? No, not really, no. no. What's Easter? It's just buying overpriced Easter eggs, isn't it? I'm not religious, so it certainly doesn't mean anything to me with that aspect. Um, it is literally just an egg and an extra day off, isn't it? He would go on the uh, rim. He, he went on the rim on Friday. I'm not going to upset him now. Though. I'm going to let him do what he, what he wants. Yeah, of course it is, mate, yeah. I'll be all over that. Back to playing that game of tyre temperatures, isn't it, Matt? Are you going to give that a go, Matt, or are you not really interested in that? What's at Dresden? Rings a bell. Was it Dresden? Do many people in your area not practice religion? Uh, no. No. I don't know anyone that's uh, religious, to be honest with you. It's never been a thing for me. I'm not against religion. You do what you want. I'm absolutely, you know. I don't give any views, but. I'm not religious, no. No, you can get off as far off of gaming as you want, giggles. I'm happy to talk about any, um, any topic. But yeah, on a personal level, I'm absolutely not religious at all. I take it you are in your area is giggles, is it? I mean, that's the funny thing. I mean, maybe people are, but no one talks to each other anymore. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. And what's more, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice school. Yeah, yeah, you've said that before, yeah. No, if you are, I respect anyone. Yeah. And we are. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. No, you know, you wouldn't come into the stream trying to impose your religious beliefs on the stream, and I would not. I would do the same. I wouldn't do the same. So, you know, that's the way life should be, isn't it? I respect you, and you respect me. That's. I don't know why there's problems with religion and arguments. It's been forever, isn't it? religion is about what you believe in yourself isn't it so that's as far as it should go look at that across there when you live in a community like that though is it a bit um, like even if you're not that religious will you 
do people say they are? Because you'd be the odd one out, wouldn't you? So if you're religious and your area is very uh, religious based, again, I don't know America, sort of small town life or midtown life, I don't know, but is it a case of just everyone, oh God, yeah, oh, I love religion, yeah, love it. Is it like that? Yeah, of course, Miss Giggles, yeah. Yeah, my cockatiel is called Capri. Hello, baby boy. Well, that's where I am, South East England. That's where I am. In fact, most churches, or certainly when I go to Wales, most chapels are being made into private residences. I fucking love one. <laughs> Just try to respect everyone. That's all you can do in this life, isn't it? I judge people on who they are, how they talk, what they say. Not about um, a religion that you may or may not follow. Just this Life is deeper than that, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, I follow the Bible. Oh, you must be a good person then. It's, uh, yeah, I just, I just take everything as face value. Because, you know, you just got to give everyone the benefit of the, benefit of the, ba the doubt. Full respect. And then that's it. You're all equal then, aren't you? Yeah, there's some beautiful ones in, uh, in Wales. Oh, my God. Yeah. You have about 30, do you really? Oh, nice. What sort of shows? What sort of shows? <laughs> cock fest. <laughs> like car fest, but for cocks. <laughs> oh, this is nice round here. Oh, fuck it out. What's that? I swear far too much to be religious giggles, you know that. <laughs> Oh my god, this is lovely up here, look. This is Scorp's hometown, isn't it, Scorp? If he's still there. <laughs> he ran over a Satan worshipper. I suppose if, if um, the Lord is real, does that mean... Satan's real? Oh god, we're getting into conversations now, aren't we? Yeah, let's not go there. Yeah. I mean if one if one is real, the other's gotta be real, isn't it? He must be comfortable there because he's having a proper preen up. I could watch him preen for hours, you know. Such a beautiful little animal. Hello, Warrior. How are you? I'll have little pin marks in my arm later and scratches all over him. His little claws.
tell you what I brought yesterday, uh, no, Saturday. I'm very, very late to this party. Very late. You'll laugh how late I am to this party. But I brought one of the um, fighting fantasy books. Has anyone ever played them? Oh, God, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. You need dice. You work out your skill, your stamina, uh, your inventory. And then you go through the book and you can flick from page to page depending on what choice you made. It's so cool. It's so cool. I know I'm late. You're going to go, what? You've only just done that. I know. Bloody hell, it's so cool. Yeah, that's it, Ian Livingston. Oh, you got the whole set. Oh, lovely. Really good, aren't they? Right, we don't need any fuel. Yeah, it's like, you know, do you want to take this person on, on your adventure? He wants 10 gold. This one wants 15. If you decide on the first one, go to page such and such. You go back to your little inventory page. You take, you take off 10 gold. It, it's so cool. I was laying in bed last night with my pen, paper, and my dice. Oh, lovely, Matt. Yeah, I, I, I was um, out shopping Saturday with the missus. And she said, I want to get a couple of books. She's got a Kindle, and she reads every night. And she's on Kindle Unlimited, but she says, like, half the books on there are just so shit. That she wants, like, a proper, you know, a proper book, as it were. I only brought one. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Hello, well, Garth. No, I'm not undoing. No, no, I'm not undoing. You know me, I don't like to cheat. Right, we're nearly there, everyone. Sorry, birdie. He's like, I'm trying to clean myself here. What a beautiful journey. Thank you for sharing it with me. I'll be back for more journeys tomorrow. Uh, are we going this way? Yeah, we are. Can you see my bird just preening himself? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did you hear him shout at me then? He's like, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just done another one as well. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Honestly, he's like a little teenager. See, if he's a big macaw and he had a bit of vicious streak in him, he'd be all over me now, ripping my face off. Yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, yeah, similar. I suppose very, uh, not early Dungeons and Dragons, but quite simplistic du Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. My copy is being very well thumbed as we speak. <laughs> Don't shout at me, little bird. Got a job to do here. No, don't shout. <laughs> right, we're here, everyone. See you later, uh, Mickey. Oh, that's all right, Kim. Oh, you was guessing I was, I was going to say Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Yeah, I have thought about it. But I think I'll, if I do anything like that, it'll be more war gaming. This is so cool, isn't it? What a, what a beautiful journey we've had, and look, look at where we're ending up. 
and the um, the load we're taking sort of matches to where we're going. Ooh, you're a proper gamer, aren't you, Kim? <laughs> Could you play strip D and D? That would be cool because I'm not very good at it. I'd be uh, I'd be naked straight away. So. Is there something you could integrate? Oh god, I've got reverse in. Okay. Oh, you really scored? Oh, cool. So close, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop getting the arse bird. <laughs> push down for reverse with this um, uh, shifter as well, which I think is extra immersion, isn't it? You won't beat Colossal Adventure, will you? Or Colossus Adventure. That was, that was the one, wasn't it? I might get a real job as a trucker just so I can take my bird with me. I reckon he'd like that. Be great company as well, wouldn't it? You can see why they used to give bird, um, birds to prisoners as well. They're very calming, aren't they? A bit like fish, I suppose, in that respect. Yeah, I've seen it, Jason, yeah. Of course I have. Right, there we go. Hang on, come on that side, little young man. We are done. That was a that was a bloody lovely journey, actually, wasn't it? Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it see you uh, through your Monday afternoon a little better. Bloody hell, it's already four o'clock. That is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Here he is. He's just having a little cheeky walk around on the keyboard. Look, he's so cool, isn't he? Oh God, he he melts my heart. He does. I love him. <laughs> That is it, everyone. Have a lovely day. And, uh, oh, I will see you next time. See you later, everyone.